We know that refined grains such as white pasta, white rice, white bread, etc. are not healthy for us, as numerous studies have shown that higher refined grain consumption is associated with increased blood pressure, blood sugar, LDL cholesterol, blood triglycerides and insulin resistance. But what about whole grains? Well, plants have cell walls that are made up of fibre, which acts as an indigestible barrier. So even when we chew really well, there will still be calories encapsulated by this fibre. This then blunts the glycemic impact, activates the ileal break that dials down our appetite and delivers sustenance to our friendly flora. Feeding this friendly flora encourages our bodies to produce short-chain fatty acids that absorb from the colon into our bloodstream. After circulating throughout our body, the short-chain fatty acids then reach our brain and signal that we are full. This then tells our body to decrease appetite and boost metabolism. So we want to make sure as many of our calories are encased in cell walls. But what about whole grains that have been powdered into flour such as whole wheat bread? Well, they have their cellular structure destroyed, their cell walls broken open, and their calories are free for the taking. And because of this, Dr. Greger recommends we only eat intact whole grains. So surely Dr. Greger would not recommend whole grain pasta for the same reason. Well, this next excerpt may surprise you. Let's take a listen. There's actually an exception to the deflowering your diet rule, and that is pasta. So that's the one food where it's okay to eat 100% whole wheat pasta, even though it's made out of flour, because of the production process, the pressure required to force the dough through the dyes actually changes the, sort of the molecular structure of the starch such that it's uh, much slower digesting, has some of the benefits of grains in growth form, like in wheat berries. So big fan of pasta. Now, of course, it's not just whole grain pasta, there's all sorts of bean pastas on the market. Um, and then, of course, there's things you, you can make, you know, pasta with spaghetti squash or with, you know, zucchini noodles, all sorts of other ways to do it. But uh, yeah, people, I think, were uh, really excited to see my chapter in How Not to Diet called The Pasta Exception. It's important to note that according to Dr. Alan Goldhammer's research, many people may actually be sensitive to gluten. So bean, lentil and vegetable pastas may be more suitable for these people. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.